Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basic Part 26 is brought to you by examfree.com. No much free from exam. Take some examples on this. So the question says using curve arrow notation so the formation of reaction intermediates. When the covalent bond undergoes heterolytic cleavage, please note it is going heterolytic cleavage. The first is CH3SCH. So in this case, there is a bond given already. We have to break it. So out of CH3 and SCH3, which one is more electronegative? Obviously, SCH3. So we'll form a bond. We'll break the bond like this. There were two electrons which are taking part in this, and both will go to SCH3. Right? So this will become CH3 plus because CH3 will not be an electron and SCH3 minus because this guy will get both electrons. This is done. Let's take CH3 CN. So I have CH3 CN. Again CH3 and CN. CN is more electronegative. So CN will try to get both electrons. I had two electrons. Both electron is taken by CN. So this becomes CH3 plus and CN minus. Correct. Next is CH3Cu. So out of CH3 and Cu, CH3 is more electronegative here. So CH3 will take both the electrons. So this guy will become CH3 minus and Cu plus. Correct? So just you to see which one is more electronegative and this the one which is more electronegative will take both the electron and will get a negative charge. Give justification, categorize the following nucleophiles as a Ions as nucleophile or electrophile. So HS minus. Or let me draw bucket for nucleophile and electrophile. Nucleophile are right here, and electrophile are right here. Correct. First is HS minus. HS minus negative charge. So negative charge means what? It will try to it has extra electron. Does it elect electron? That means it will have an affinity towards electron. Sorry, towards nucleus. Correct? See, it has extra electron, so it has a affinity towards nucleus, so it becomes nucleophile. So nucleophile will have negative charge, electrophile will have positive charge. It has negative charge, straight away, don't think much, just put in the category of nucleophile. The second is BF3. BF3 I know. Sorry, there is no electron. We draw BF3. So BF3 has only six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's electron deficient. It it is electron hungry. So it is electron hungry. So it is electron loving. So it is electrophile. Correct. So this is electrophile. C2H5O minus negative charge directly important. Nucleophile. Don't think much. CH33 N with a lone pair. Since it has a lone pair, that means it has extra electrons, right? Extra electrons, that means it will love nucleus. So it will be nucleophile. So put in the nucleophile. Cl plus plus, just put in the electrophile directly, don't think much. CH3 plus is again a carbocation, so just put in the electrophile. NH2 minus is a minus charge, just put in the uh, this category, nucleophile category. NO2 plus, since it is a positive charge, just put in the electrophile category. Don't think much. The moment you have charge, it has to be a positive charge, it has to be a electrophile. So, thus we have easily categorized this following molecules as electrophile or nucleophile. So, we have to now identify the electrophilic center. So, the first is CH3. C H O O. Correct. So electrophilic center is the one where, where electrons, electrophiles can attack. Sorry, the one which has partial positive charge, right? Electrophilic center will have partial positive charge. See, electrophiles have positive charge, right? Because they large electron loving. So electrophilic center will also have partial positive charge. So if you see in this case, my oxygen is more electronegative, so it will try to hog electron towards the cell. So it will get a slightly negative charge and this will get a slightly positive charge. This, since this carbon is getting slightly positive charge, this is my electrophilic center. Let's take this guy CH3. 
C triple bond in. Here also if you see nitrogen is more electron, if you try to get some electron to body itself, it will get slightly negative charge, slightly positive charge. This is my electrophilic center. CH3 I minus. Iron will try to take electron towards itself because it's more electronegative. Slightly negative charge will be a slightly positive charge, so it is an electrophilic center. So I could easily draw all the electrophilic center. The one which has slightly positive charge partial. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.